The stories are absolutely legendary about the dish we're having for lunch today, and they have to do with ladies of the night. Well, well, well. Our uh, <laughs> guest, Mark Zimmer, the chef owner of the Great Impasta in Juno Beach, is here to tell us about the origin of linguine puttanesca and to make it too. Oh, hi, yes, I'm. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Hi, John. There's Great a lot to of here again. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to be very delicate about this. It's actually called the ladies of the night uh, sauce. It's, it's made very quickly so they could Let's get back out on the road, I guess. Very, ar <laughs> very aromatic. How was that? Did I say that? Okay. Yeah, yes, you did. Have to watch nice it. Job. But anyway, we'll start. I'll tell you the ingredients. Uh, two, ba two large chopped Spanish onions, mm -hmm. a cup of chopped garlic, coarsely chopped, Ooh. some anchovies. Now, instead of anchovies, sometimes you put tuna fish in, but I'll tell you also later what else you could also make, because okay. I like to make it different ways. Mm -hmm. Capers, say about a quarter of a cup to a half a cup, mm -hmm. and kalamata or Greek black olives. All right. Mm -hmm. And of course, tomatoes. Now, I made a tomato sauce. I always have it ready at the restaurant, ready pasta, but, you know, if you don't like to have it already made, it takes a lot of time, mm -hmm. just have cans, or if, if you like to just chop up some plump tomatoes. Okay. Right. And some parsley, some chopped uh, basil, yeah. and some oregano, and Parmesan cheese, and of course, you can't forget the pasta. Why not? But if you would like to forget so the good, pasta, huh? you can have this right over fish. Really? Yeah. Ah. It's a great sauce for tuna, uh -huh. tuna steaks, or flounder. It's oh, excellent. Keep wow. it so yeah, what I did is I put in olive oil. We also need the olive oil. Of yeah, course, you can right. see the big can there. I put in a little over a half a cup, and I hope mm -hmm. it's hot enough now. <laughs> let's mm -hmm. let's get it going. See, Kelly, you want to also help sure, me with this? Sure, sure. What do you want me to do, And John, well, I'm going to put in the onions. There it goes. It's sizzling. I don't know if we'll actually have enough time to cook the whole yeah. dish right through. We've got about two minutes. But it is very, yeah. very quick to make. <laughs> Women have to earn their keep. That's some, <laughs> some garlic. Is the garlic nice? Garlic right. right in there, Kelly. Right in yeah, right in. Man, that's whoo-hoo. That's a lot of garlic. Opening huh? up my sinuses there. I'm glad I like garlic. Yeah, just throw that around. Me too. Yeah, right. aromatic, aromatic flavor on there. Yes, oh, sir. yeah, I can't go wrong right. with... What's next? And just let Some that. papers? Well, what I like to do, actually, is just to give it a little dash of wine, just a little pinch. Red? Oh, red yeah, wine. Red sauce. Yeah. yeah. And then just stir it around. And everything then go ahead, you put go ahead, John. There. Throw everything in. You're everything. Kelly. Sure. We could just do go this one, on two, the three. Go easy on the will you? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, What's you can do anchovies? you can uh, do tuna fish out of a can like with the oil. This whole thing of uh, the olives? That's it. All the mm, Love the olives. And Greek black olives in there. And then the tomatoes. Don't get that fancy soup. Look at Kelly. She doesn't, want, any she doesn't want tomatoes on it. Oh, here we go. The anchovies. Okay. You can, John, you have to. The <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No mercy. Oh. And stir that around. And let that simmer for about. You're going to learn how to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way my mom taught me how to eat. You will sit down and you will eat, eat everything you eat until you're anything. finished. All this yeah, stuff. Basil and tomatoes. Yeah. Everything. Parsley right in there. And the just, tomato sauce. We're going to cook this. Actually, yeah. Go ahead. Because actually, we we don't have the time to cook the onions. Yeah. Really soften. You soften them for about ten minutes. Whoa. Well, you're, you're wearing burgundy juice. today. Yeah, That's right. okay. You'll, it'll just you. blend into it yours, blends. Kelly. And just stir okay. that around. And what else we wow, have? Some yum. parsley. More stuff here. Look at that. And we'll, I mean, yeah. no wonder it's got such a nice flavor. All of this oregano or just the Just, yeah, but you like, go ahead, throw it over. There's about a big tablespoon there. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. How do you guys do that? And John, a little fresh ground yeah, pepper. That's good. A little fresh ground pepper, John. Get that at the end. There you go. Look at this. We're cooking. There we go. Now, just wait till this boils and it's done. That's yeah. how quick really? it is. And wow, it'll just start kind of bubbling up. You'll see it mm -hmm. bubbling. And with this, the ladies of the it. night used to bring the sailors in, that aroma, you know. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> up the ship. I'm coming. These are the sound effects there. Yeah. And then right. get the shore. Like I said, if you don't like to have pasta, right. you put it right over a nice dish of right. cooked. You cleared out your or you, what you can also stuff. do is put some scallops and shrimp in here if you don't like anchovies or tuna fish either. Right. So, let them poach right in there for about oh, well, eight, well, ten minutes. Yeah, and then boom, right over the Good. pasta. Yeah, and here we go. Look at this. Look at this great there. dish. The aroma. And of course, can't forget wow. the cheese at the end. Man, <laughs> like that's <this>. good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty good at that. I don't think I'll get any. No, you did. Look at that. How's that look? Man, oh, that, that looks wonderful. That's great. Look at that. Yeah. And now this can also be done as a cold pasta salad also. Cold you don't pasta? even have to cook it. Really? Sure. Instead of onions, use up some chopped scallions. Wow. And look at that. That's nice. There nice yeah, just ladies cheese. of the night. That's, that's the giant yeah. version. We're yeah. looking at the, at the mini version, the one portion version down here. There you go. Nice. That makes a wonderful dish. 
certainly does. Oh, oh it smells so are we good, ready to too. Go? You're missing it. <laughs> We're going to start yeah, scarfing well, down in a few minutes, Mark. Exactly. Well, I had your so. Got plenty, our forks ready. Plenty for you me. want to tell me? Try it? Actually, yeah, it's, it'll, try. It'll, it'll Let be... me tell the folks about well, where they can write to get this. Yeah, I'll watch out like for the recipe for Mike Fish around. Mark Zimmer's Linguini Putanesca. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope to The Great Impasta in care of WPTV, P.O. Box 510. <laughs> Palm Beach 33480. Oh, Are you scarfing that down? <laughs> I did not get an anchovy. John, go ahead. You didn't Delicious. get an anchovy. Take a little. Mm. Take a little. Mm -mm -mm. Give me an anchovy. Yeah, that's that's an wonderful. That's good stuff. Huh? Really, really good. And so versatile, too. Yeah. Thanks It'll for telling us all about that. a little warmer. But that's all right. Are you kidding? It's a 10 minute dish. That's all it takes. <laughs> as long as it takes you to cook your pasta, mm -hmm. bake. That's all it takes. Mm. And actually, you could use the same pot if you like. Take out the pasta, put it in a colander, wipe it out, and use right. the same one. And today it's the onions mm. that are al dente. <laughs> well, yummy, today yummy. well, today they are. Well, today they are. It's all right. Beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, nice Kelly. Nice to have Thank you with you us. John. It's always great to Right in for it. It's really good. We'll be back in a minute. Mm.